Is there something in your past that you just can't forgive yourself for? Did you do something so bad you just can't see how you could ever be redeemed? Well, watch this video and find out how you can finally forgive yourself. Hello, I'm Trey Murray, creator of the YouTube channel, The Only Bible, guiding you to be a true reflection of Jesus Christ. When I was in college, I did a training called Evangelism Explosion. And in this training, we learned how to talk to others about Jesus. We would go door to door and knock on the door asking people if they understood and knew who Jesus was. Well, on one particular occasion, uh, we went to a guy's house and he invited us in very graciously. Uh, we sat down, we began talking to him and he stopped us, said, listen guys, you're wasting my time and yours. There's no way that what I've done I can ever be forgiven for. So I thank you for your time. We tried to talk to him a bit more, and as we did, he became more agitated, so finally we left. Uh, I tell that story to tell you, I want to give you the same message we were trying to give him that night, that God has already forgiven you. If you ask for forgiveness and you turn from your sin, you too can be forgiven. The tough part is, learning how to forgive yourself, knowing what you've done. Why is it so hard to forgive myself? Well, the deal is God has already forgiven you for your sins. If you've asked for forgiveness and you've repented of those sins, then the sacrifice of Jesus Christ has already covered those. So why do you still feel guilty? Well, Satan's a great deceiver and he wants to keep you from doing Lord's work. He wants to keep you from having a close relationship with God. And so he will pull out every stop he can. And one of his biggest is to fill you with guilt and shame over your past mistakes. So when you refuse to forgive yourself, you're actually letting Satan win this battle. Revelation 12.10 says, Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, The salvation and power and the kingdom of God and the authority of his Messiah have now come because the accuser of our brothers has been thrown out, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. So why is it important to forgive yourself? God has a plan and a purpose for you, but you cannot start that plan without being forgiven. So Christ provided a path to forgiveness through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. Now that you have accepted and are in Christ, Satan wants to keep you from fulfilling that plan. And one of the best ways he knows to do that is to fill you with guilt and shame and keep you from feeling that forgiveness and thinking that you cannot have a part in God's plan. If you already have forgiveness and you have repented or turned away from that sin, then you have the forgiveness of God and you should let go of your past shame and guilt. The Apostle Paul also had a hard time forgiving himself he was carrying all the guilt and shame for what he had done to Christians before he had come to Christ. Eventually, he had to come to terms that those were things that he had done, but Christ had already forgiven him of those sins. And now he says there is no condemnation for sins for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 7, 24 through 8, 2 says, What a wretched man I am! Who will rescue me from this dying body? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, with my mind, I myself am a slave to the law of God, but with my flesh to the law of sin. Therefore, no condemnation now exists for those in Christ Jesus, because the Spirit's law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. So how can I forgive myself and move on? Well, first you need to understand that forgiving yourself is not something you'll find in the Bible. You won't find the terms forgive yourself anywhere in the text. What you will find are a number of verses that talk about how you shouldn't keep your guilt and shame, that Christ has come, that you should not feel guilty or shameful for any of your past sins. He's already forgiven them. Colossians 3, 12 and 13 says, Therefore, God's chosen ones, holy and loved, put on heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience, accepting one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, 
Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Am I allowed to forgive myself? Yes and no. You don't have the power to forgive yourself. Only God has the power to forgive sins. So your sin was against God and God alone. Psalms 51, 3 and 4 says, For I am conscious of my rebellion, and my sin is always before me. Against you, and you alone, I have sinned and done evil in your sight. So you are right when you pass sentence. You are blameless when you judge. I just want to reiterate and hope that you understand that when you sin, your sin is, in, is against God alone. It's not against any other man or any other thing. When you sin, you sin against God. And that forgiveness can only be given through God. That's not to say you can't wrong other people. Of course you can. But sin, sin is against God's law. And that is what it is that you're seeking forgiveness from. Now, we are to forgive other people of their sins, but in that sense, what you're doing is forgiving the wrong that they have done you, not the wrong against God's law. Ephesians 4.32 says, And be kind, compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. And if God calls us to forgive each other, then obviously He's going to call us to forgive ourselves, as we are in Christ's body as well. So, if you can't move past the guilt and the shame, remember that God requires that we forgive each other for our sins. And by extension, you should also forgive yourself for those sins. What if I just can't forgive myself? Well, again, recognize that your sin was not against yourself, but against God. And that if you've called on Him for forgiveness, and you've repented of those sins, that you are already forgiven. There's nothing else to be done but to let go of that guilt and shame that you're holding. Now, how do I do that? Well, you think on wonderful things. You think on the most pleasant things in your life. You think on things that bring you joy or happiness. Philippians 4.8 says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any moral excellence, and if there is any praise, dwell on these things. So in conclusion, can you forgive yourself? Yes. Are you allowed to forgive yourself? Absolutely. But rather than using the terms forgive yourself, realize that what you're actually doing is letting go of guilt and shame that Satan has poured on your heart and know that by letting that go, you are actually doing God's will and moving forward with your life, moving past your past sins. I hope this video has helped you. I hope that you've gotten something out of this. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe. And then hit that notification bell so that you will get updates whenever a new video comes out. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. God bless. Thank you.